20-year-old Terrence Kellum was shot and killed by a federal agent who was serving a warrant with a team of Detroit police back in 2015. Kellum was wanted on a robbery warrant. At the time, Chief James Craig said Kellum was armed with a hammer, prompting the deadly use of force. However, the family has always maintained Terrence did not have a hammer. Tonight, we're learning of new evidence that may force prosecutors to reopen this case. Jermont Terry, live with a look at what lawyers for the Kellum family are saying now. Jermont? Sandra, the attorney representing the Kellum family insisting that new evidence shows that he never welded a hammer at officers as detailed in the original police report. And for that reason, the family is calling for Kim Worthy's office to reopen this case. On the steps of a federal courthouse, a father continues to grieve while demanding justice in the death of his son, Terrence Kellum. Was it mandatory that you guys come to my house and kill my son in my face? Kevin Kellum will never forget the day a fugitive team stormed his house looking for his son wanted for robbery. Detroit officers and Immigration Custom Enforcement members contended Kellum grabbed a hammer charging towards officers, forcing the ICE agent to fire, killing the 20-year-old. They just said he had a hammer. That's why we had to shoot him and, and execute him. But that was never happened. If it's never happened now, there's a huge problem here. The family's attorney says new testimony from a Detroit police officer at the scene in 2015 now backs the family's claim Kellum never held a hammer. He says the testimony during the family's civil case proved members of the fugitive team lied. This was an entire cover-up made up by state, federal, and local police agencies to cover up this whole deal. The new twist garnishes support from community organizations, all demanding transparency. If we truly are to have justice for all of our citizens, then we believe that this case must be reopened. The Wayne County Prosecutor's Office hasn't reopened the case, but says it's looking over the new information. I'm hoping, you know, that, that letter means she's going to open the case. But like I said, at the end of the day, death requires responsibility. Now, the family wants the, uh, the officer who killed Kellum charged tonight. There's no ind clear indication as to how long it will take Kim Worthy and her office to look over this new information. Reporting live tonight, Jermont Terry, Local 4. Thank you, Jermont.